Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Please, if this is your first time viewing, consider to click off the follow button so that you another exciting video you notice five. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you another exciting video you notice five. Please, after watching, ensure you share to loved ones or others who learn from it. So, let's solve this question together. Now, look at what you are given on the board. We are given that 8 raised to the power of m plus 2 raised to the power of m is equal to what 60 watt 8. We are asked to find what the value of m. This problem is very, very simple as A, B, C, D. Okay? Now, look at what you are going to do. Now, let's put it in index form. If you put it in index form, we're going to have what? 2 raised to the power of what? 3. All raised to the power of what? M plus what? 2 raised to the power of M equals to what? 60 what? 8. Okay? Now, 2 raised to the power of M. We can also exchange this as what? Into 2 raised to the power of M. All raised to the power of what? 3. Plus 2 raised to the power of M equals to what 60 watts it there's nothing bad okay or there's nothing wrong for the side to write what through the power of three or support m as through support m or support what three because three times m is three m and m times three same as three m so can see that something is common i see that let let what is common which is two the power of m equals to what p right so what have this as p raised to the power of three plus p equals to what 60 watts it what are we going to do here now I don't want to stress myself or go and find number that can I can raise it. I can have this. I don't want to do all this sort of thing. What am I going to do? I will subtract 68 from both sides. So now see that this is p raised to the power of 3 plus what p minus 68 equals to what zero. Now there's one of the interesting things I'm going to do here. Do you know that I'm not wrong if I decide to write all this expression as p raised to the power of 3, then plus what minus 4 p raised to the power of what 2 then plus 4 p raised to the power of what 2 because 4 minus 4 p raised to the power of 2 plus 4 p raised to the power of 2 is just 0. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this so that I can factorize this as this equation as, as, and factorize this expression you're seeing here. Well, it is equation because you're having equality sign because I want, to, I want to factorize this. But if I didn't do this, I cannot factorize this. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Okay, then minus sorry, my marker minus what? minus 16 watts p plus six plus what because this minus 16 p plus this will give us what plus 17 p minus 16 p plus 17 p will give us p right okay because 17 minus 16 is p okay minus 60 what it equals to what zero this is what i'm looking for now i can factorize this between s to the power of p raised to the power of 3 and minus 4 p what is common 4 p is uh, p raised to the power of 2 is common right then into P raised to the power of 3 divided by P raised to the power of 2 give me P. Because P raised to the power of 2 times this will give me this. Then if I divide this by this, I'm going to have a minus 4. Okay? Now what is common here? Plus 4 is common. So I mean that plus 4 is what? Plus 4P is common into... If I divide this, P... If I divide 4P squared divided by P, 4P, I'm going to have what? P. If I divide minus 16P by 4P, I'm going to have what? Minus what? 4. Now, what is common here? Since 17 can go into 28, that means 17 is common, right? So plus 17 is common, okay? Into 17p divided by 17, give me what? P. Minus 68p, sorry, minus 68 divided by 17, give us what? Give us minus 4, okay? All this equals to what? 0. Now let's observe from this other area. If you observe, well, you can know that this, 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 that means p minus 4 is common. So you can say that into p minus 4 is what? Common. Into again. Then p square into p minus 4 divided by p minus 4 give us p square. So p was square. Then 4p into p minus 4 divided by p minus 4 give us what? Plus what? 4 what? P. Then 17 into p minus 4 divided by p minus 4 give us what? Plus what? 17. All this equals to what? 0. Note that when the product of two terms is equal to 0, it means that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. Or you can see that both of them are equal to what? 0. That means p minus 4 is equal to 0 or p squared plus 1 4 p plus 17 is equal to what 0 this is what quadratic equation this is what linear what equation okay but we are not solved for the value of what m remember we are asked to solve for the value of m what are we solving for p we are solving for p so that this problem can be what is very what solvable okay now we cannot factorize it you can go ahead and use what for the quadratic what formula or completing the square but we are not interested in this from here, let's add 4 to both sides. That means P will be equal to what? 4 by adding 4 to what? Both sides. This is the value of P. But note that we are not asked to solve for what? S. 
So we are not asked to solve for P, we are asked to find the value of what M. Then recall, recall that, recall that from here, that 2 raised to the power of M is equal to what? P. But we see that P is 4, right? So that means 2 raised to the power of M is equal to what? 4. And again, let's put 4 in index 1 so that we can equate the power since the basic will be the same. Okay? That means this now becomes what? 2 raised to the power of M is equal to 2 raised to the power of what? 2. Now, since the basis are the same, let's equate the index, okay? Let them go and settle their sets. So that means m is equal to what? 2. This is the value of m, okay? So this implies that m is equal to what? 2. And this is the solution to this particular problem. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you find it very interesting, don't hesitate. Do it to like, comment, and so share it to your loved ones or others who learn from you. So thank you so much, and God bless you. Bye.